Never did I have in my 2023 bingo card that early in the year, the internet would all agree on one thing and unite against a common enemy. But it looks like in early March of 2023, that happened. Who is that common enemy, you ask? None other than socialite and celebrity by default, Hailey Bieber. Okay, Hailey Bieber needs to be put down like a dog. I've hated Hailey Bieber for a <sighs> very long time, and I've always seen the mean girl in her. Hailey don't deserve Justin Bieber. She don't even deserve the last name. If you haven't heard of this situation, I'm sure you're wondering, what great offense did Hailey Bieber do to become the most hated celebrity? Would you believe me if I said everything went haywire? Hailey Bieber being declared internet enemy number one, all because of eyebrows? You really can't make this stuff up. Hi friends and internet acquaintances, welcome or welcome back to another video on my channel covering controversial figures. I'm trying to finish this video in time for my birthday, March 27th. So for this birthday video, I wanted to do a more fun video about a really interesting celebrity beef that happened recently that simultaneously does point out a lot of problems with celebrity culture, who we idolize and why, and parasocial relationships may be gone too far. But before we get into the video, this video is sponsored by Surfshark. Are you maybe feeling a little embarrassed about watching hours of footage of Hailey Bieber copying Selena Gomez or all the latest updates of the Vanderpump Rules drama? Well, you can protect your data and protect your guilty pleasures with today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Using a VPN gives you control control of your personal data. You can protect your identity and get notified if your personal data has been leaked somewhere online. A VPN, virtual private network, keeps you safe and private by covering up, like a mask, everything you do online. Using a VPN is like wearing pants. When you go outside, all the important stuff stays private and secure, which helps you get the best deals when online shopping. Instead of websites showing you prices based on your location or device, you can turn on Surfshark VPN and get the best deals when shopping online or buying your next flight ticket. If you enjoy traveling, you can also use a VPN to avoid travel restrictions and keep your digital freedom as well as stay safe on public Wi-Fi. So why do users love Surfshark? Surfshark offers unlimited devices. They offer 24-7 support with help anytime you need through live chat, email, or social media. And now is the best time to try it. Purchasing a 20 four month VPN plan is seriously one of the best options you can find. Surfshark has a great offer, three months extra and 83% off. Just scan the QR code on the screen or click the link in the description and use my promo code CWHM. Just try it out yourself. Surfshark also has a 30 day money back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? I'm grateful for Surfshark because with their sponsor, I'm able to continue improving my content because access to their VPN gives me more access and research possibilities for my own content. Thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. So let's examine the drama, the beef, that made Hailey Bieber the most hated celebrity. So much so that at Rolling Loud, people chanted to her husband, F Hailey. That's brutal. Hailey Bieber, married to Justin Bieber, was formerly Hailey Baldwin. She was born into the celebrity Baldwin family, Stephen Baldwin being her father and Alec Baldwin being her uncle. Though Hailey was born into a celebrity family, for years into her adulthood, she wasn't really well known and was especially never really well known in her own right. Her friend after Joe Jonas. Most of the time, Hailey Bieber's fame or status was mainly based off of who she was associated with, whether it was her celebrity friends or her celebrity family. Once 
once again, Jonas Brothers. Or, well, Justin Bieber, who she ended up marrying in 2018. This is my life. Marrying pop star Justin Bieber was really what catapulted Haley into her celebrity status. But while she gained popularity for her style and glowy skin and makeup looks, many people didn't really know her who she was and what she stood for. So in 2023, when rumors, reports, and clips started resurfacing, calling Haley a mean girl, well, it was believable to many because many just didn't even really know who she was in the first place. Let's just face the facts, people. Haley Bieber is a mean girl. Especially when rumors started resurfacing. Ah, oh, got something in my eye that Haley was being shady and rude to her husband's ex-partner, celebrity and beloved pop star Selena Gomez. Haley Bieber being mean to Selena Gomez. They thought the world wasn't going to hate them. Haley Bieber? Jealous. Not only did fans start to piece together posts and clips that Haley made seemingly attacking or shading Selena Gomez, but fans started to notice creepy coincidences that could possibly show, when combined all together, that Haley had an unhealthy obsession with Selena Gomez. I don't even think that she wants Justin to be real with you. I think she wanted to be Selena. Seemingly both hating and worshiping Selena. So, is this all fact or fiction? Is Hailey Bieber jealous and spiteful towards her husband's ex? Is she a obsessed, creepy stalker towards Selena Gomez? Or is all of this just in fans' heads, who've become too involved in celebrities' lives? Or are fans just insightful enough to read between the lines of what's being posted? After all, celebrities are human. Celebrities also probably hate their partner's exes and have beef with people and make shady posts about them like the rest of us. Well, let's try to figure out what's going going on here and how the very public war between Hailey Bieber and Selena Gomez kicked off and how it led to Hailey Bieber becoming so massively hated. Most of the subsequent drama and fallout of this celebrity beef has occurred between the fandoms of Selena and Haley. Fandoms meaning the fans of a particular person, which are regarded collectively as a community or subculture. Selena's fandom is called Selenators. Selenators? Selenators? Definitely not Selenators. Selenators. <laughs> and Haley's fandom is called Jaylees. Basically, people who are fans of the Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin pairing. These fandoms are largely behind the rumors of a feud, and the people in these fandoms are the ones who put the pieces together of this rumored feud between Selena and Haley. Go comment Wizards of Waverly Place spells and episodes on her Instagram and TikTok. And go call her a stupid white bimbo blonde who's only famous because of Justin Bieber and a stupid fucking bitch. I think when comparing the passion of each fandom, it's important to look into the background of both Selena and Haley to see why one fandom may be much more passionate and larger and therefore more powerful than the other. Selena Gomez was raised by a single mother and has a very relatable upbringing where it seems like nothing was ever handed to her on a silver platter. You know, my mom, she had me when she was still in high school. My parents were separated when I was five. She was so young, still in school, and eventually tried every job you could possibly imagine. She said, this is what we're going through, but I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna make life better than this. I have a great family. My mom and my stepdad have raised me to be who I've always been. She was a child star, which has its own challenges, appearing on Barney and Friends at a very young age, and then becoming a Disney star, and star of the show, Wizards of Waverly Place. Wonderful, Barney. I was seven years old when I got my first job. I was proud because I got to go escape my life and be in Barney land and just play and sing. And then going on to have an extremely successful music career. Honestly, I couldn't be more grateful for the position that I've been 
given in my career from seven to 14 to now. You didn't start working. Even yeah. when you were getting sick, you still worked. Yeah, I think I needed to because it kept me going. Mm. And she did it all on her own. Coming from a background, she wasn't handed anything by her family or famous friends or connections. And all the while, to Selenators, she still kept a humble air about herself, never forgetting where she came from and continuing to connect with her fans. I want to honor your, your drive for education, so I'm very happy to be here. Selena Gomez has also been publicly battling lupus, which has inspired many fans, especially those with autoimmune disorders, to see her continue to put out work, not shying away from her disease or public scrutiny about her appearance. As many of you know, I was diagnosed, or might not know, I was diagnosed with lupus about five or six years ago. I've been speaking out about my situation to raise awareness of the disease so people see a doctor right away or if they feel like they have any symptoms. Haley, on the other hand, came from wealth and privilege. She was born into the Baldwin family. Alec Baldwin, the famous actor, is her uncle. And to the general public, it seems like she was handed a lot of things in life without ever having to work for it. She genetically fits the beauty standard. She's rich famous by default. She even proudly sported a shirt that said Nepo Baby on it once, which if you don't know what nepotism is, it's basically getting handed down privileges because of your famous or wealthy family, which Haley seems to fit the bill for. And I think comparing Selena Gomez and Haley Bieber's backgrounds before getting into the feud between them is an important context because no matter what, to the public, Selena Gomez will always be the underdog worth rooting for, the person that they can relate to more, who inspires them more with their story. And Haley Bieber, I'm sure, will remind many of their high school bully who had a rich and affluent background and was always able to buy the best designer clothes, have the best cars, and throw the coolest parties in their rich house. Hailey Bieber is already starting out with that sort of air of I'm better than you without even having to say a word. Not that Haley really says much to begin with. Haley Baldwin on Saturday Night Live. She's on the right of the screen. Check this out. No. Once again, Jonas Brothers. Come on. <laughs> I mean, no, you're so cute. <laughs> I don't like when my parents come to shows. They actually, I don't think I've ever been at one that I've done. Um, but they've always been super supportive. The, the thing that they always tell me about being in this industry in general is to kind of just always remain yourself. And my dad always, the one thing he says is just be Haley. And I think that's important. The high school mean girl persona may be different to who Haley truly is, but it's important to note that her affluent background already makes it nearly impossible for most people to relate to her. It's also important to note the following difference between the two, Selena having 400 million followers on Instagram and Haley 50 million. I'm pretty sure, though she's been losing followers. I know, just 50 million? Shameful. Selena's fandom has also been around a lot longer since Selena has been a star since she was like six years old. And the Selenators are an extremely devoted fandom, relating to her life and public struggles, rooting for her, and having followed her journey for quite some time. You could say that all of these factors already sets up Hailey Bieber to be at a disadvantage when put in a feud with Selena Gomez. But I don't know if I'd call growing up in a rich and famous family, then marrying a pop star being at a disadvantage. But it is an important important aspect to this whole story that factors into what happened here. And the feud between Selena and Haley all relates back to, you guessed it, a man. I mean, come on guys, we can all do better than this. It's 2023, let's stop fighting over men. <laughs> or assuming that there's fights over men. Like why? 
especially this man. No one needs to be fighting over this man. But much of this purported beef is all centered around this idea that Haley stole Justin Bieber from Selena Gomez. And people believing that Justin is still in love with Selena and hates Haley and so on. This man is never beating the I don't like my wife allegations. The internet was so angry over your engagement to Justin. <laughs> is she a homewrecker? I was so shocked. I thought you and Selena will be together forever. So how did this tangled romance weave a web of hatred and celebrity feuds? Well, before Haley was in the picture, or even an adult, Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez had one of the most famous on and off romances in Hollywood. The pop stars first met as young teenagers in 2009, after Bieber admitted in an interview that Selena Gomez was his celebrity crush. Selena Gomez is pretty. Okay. I don't like her. I think she's cute. I think she's a cutie. The pair went on to quietly date for several months before making their public debut as a couple at the Vanity Fair Oscars party in 2011. After two years together, they broke up for the first time, a cycle that would repeat itself for five more years until their inevitable split. Well, we were on and off for years, and then like we left on good terms. So like, I think it was just we needed time to grow for ourselves and like. And we were like, you know what, maybe we'll come back together in the future. And then it ended up being like so long and we just grew apart and we're just not the same people anymore. Right. On December 31st of 2015, seemingly during a break with Selena Gomez, Justin kisses Haley Baldwin in St. Bart's. In his GQ March 2016 cover story, Justin referred to Haley as someone I really love, but it seems he didn't love her enough to continue dating her because quickly after that, he moved on to other relationships. In August of 2016, Bieber stepped out several times with Sophia Ritchie, a relationship that lasted a brief six weeks and received a ton of criticism from fans. On Instagram, Bieber stood up for Sophia Ritchie, who at the time was receiving a ton of hate from Jelena Shippers, fans who had hoped for a reconciliation between Selena and Justin. He told fans he'd leave social media for good if they didn't back off, saying on Instagram, I'm gonna make my Instagram private if you guys don't stop the hate. This is getting out of hand. If you guys are really fans, you wouldn't be so mean to people that I like. Selena Gomez commented on the post, prompting a rare social media exchange between ex she said, if you can't handle the hate, then stop posting pictures of your girlfriend, lol. It should be special between you two only. Don't be mad at your fans. They love you and supported you before anyone ever did. Her comments sparked a pretty heated online spat between the two, with Selena suggesting in those comments that Justin Bieber cheated on her multiple times. Selena Gomez also moved on from Justin around this time and dated The Weeknd for 10 months in 2017. But by 2018, it seems that her and The Weeknd had split and Selena and Justin seemed to be back together. After Selena's split from the weekend was confirmed, Selena and Justin were seen riding bikes together, and Gomez was spotted wearing Bieber's hockey jersey while cheering him on at a game. A source told People at the time that the pair were enjoying quiet date nights at home and outings to local low-key spots. On February 14th of 2018, Selena and Justin celebrate Valentine's Day together. A few days later, Selena and Justin went went to Jamaica together to celebrate Justin's father, Jeremy Bieber's wedding. Then on March 1st of 2018, Selena Gomez makes her rekindled relationship with Justin Instagram official. In the post, she said, March 1st, 1994, someone I know that happens to be super cool was born. Boom, she captioned it. But then only six days later, her and Justin decide to take a break. 
Then four months later, in June of 2018, Justin and Haley Baldwin rekindle their relationship. They were spotted together at church and later at a nightclub in Miami, and their relationship moved really quickly from there, with them being spotted out multiple times. By the following month, Bieber had proposed to Baldwin on a trip to the Bahamas. Justin and Haley then went on to tie the knot at a New York City courthouse that September and celebrated their union with a religious ceremony in South Carolina in 2019. Right now. Right now. Imagine being on and off with someone in a relationship for eight years and then five months later, after breaking it off, you marry someone else. Fans were confused and if they were very involved in the relationship, they were even devastated by this news. Can you explain why the internet was so angry over your engagement to Justin? People were confused on the timeline you're talking about of like, is she a homewrecker? I was so shocked. I thought you and Selena will be together forever. How fast, Justin? You don't know Haley well. Sorry, but I love you to be with Selena. I think he loves Selena. He is trying too much to make it seem like he is very excited about this. Like he wants Selena to read it. And it also is important to note that Haley and Justin's relationship seemed to start off extremely rocky. They had a sort of documentary about their marriage and the wedding, and it just seems like they were always fighting and there were always major issues in the relationship early on. In a February 2019 interview with Vogue, barely six months after they got married, Haley said, the thing is, marriage is very hard. That is the sentence you should lead with. It's really effing hard. And then she went on to talk about how they were seen a marriage counselor, but she wasn't alone in thinking that. In April, 2021, Justin shared his perspective on the first year of their marriage with GQ. He said, the first year of marriage was really tough, the pop icon said, because there was a lot going back to the trauma stuff. There was just lack of trust. There was all these things that you don't want to admit to the person that you're with because it's scary. Have I had really hard and very public moments in my marriage? Absolutely. Looking back now, I'm like, it was definitely an arranged marriage. Like, they set this whole thing up. Which didn't really help fans support the relationship. It sort of added to the narrative of Justin not really even wanting to be in a relationship with Haley in the first place. In most interviews and videos of the pair, he just seemed disinterested in Haley. Then on October 23rd of 2019, Selena Gomez releases the amazing song, Lose You to Love Me, the month after Bieber and Baldwin's South Carolina wedding. And it really seemed like this song was about Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber's very rocky, tumultuous relationship with lines like, set fire to my purpose and I let it burn, seemingly referencing Bieber's 2015 album, purpose. One of the most heart-wrenching lyrics in the song also seemed to reference Justin Bieber's quickness in moving on from his relationship with Selena, saying, in two months you replaced us like it was easy. But in interviews, when asked about the song, the meaning behind it, and her breakup with Justin, Selena seemed fairly adamant that the breakup ended up being the best thing for her. Even though it resulted in massive heartbreak, it was also something she needed to grow and learn to love herself after such a tumultuous relationship. I felt haunted by a past relationship that no one wanted to let go of. But then I just moved past it. I feel like I had to, to go through the worst possible heartbreak ever. But I just think that needed to happen. And ultimately it was the best thing. That ever happened to me. So it seemed Selena was happy, or at least trying to be as happy as possible, moving on and wishing the best for Justin and Haley. But Selena's statements didn't do much to quell the onslaught of hate that Haley 
Baldwin Bieber started to receive. Just like Sophia Richie received hate from fans of the Jelena relationship, the onslaught of hate that Haley received was even worse. Since, you know, she married Justin Bieber, finalizing the death of Jelena. Eventually, this hate stopped and Haley built up her own brand in her own right to a certain extent. Haley Bieber, who, you know, is more of like a street style star in a paparazzi sense. And it seemed Haley undoubtedly made a continual effort to not just be known as Justin Bieber's wife or Alec Baldwin's niece, but she tried to become known as a fashion icon of sorts, getting photographed multiple times for her street style, which many people started to admire, and that sort of became her brand. On January 26 of 2020, Selena Gomez did an interview saying she was a victim to certain abuse in her relationship with Justin Bieber. In an interview on NPR, Selena Gomez opened up about her breakup with Justin Bieber and how she's moved forward. I've found the strength in it. It's dangerous to stay in a victim mentality, and I'm not being disrespectful. I do feel I was a victim to certain abuse, she said, confirming that it was emotional abuse when asked. And later in the interview, she added that lose you to love me was a way to help her get closure. Then in September 2022, Hailey Bieber did an interview with Alex Cooper on Call Her Daddy, where she addressed the rumors that she stole Justin Bieber from Selena Gomez. I can say, period, point blank, I was never with him when he was in a relationship with anybody. That's the end of it, Hailey said. People were confused on the timeline you're talking about of like, is she a homewrecker? So I guess my question is, Haley, mm -hmm. were you ever with Justin romantically at the same time as her? No, not, not one time. Like I can say period point blank, I was never with him when he was in a relationship with anybody. That's the end of it. The next day, Selena Gomez shared a message on TikTok seemingly responding to Haley's interview. In the clip, she spoke about positivity and the irony behind haters supporting her beauty brand, Rare Beauty. If you support Rare, I cannot thank you enough, but know that you are also representing what it means, and that is words matter, truly matter, adding that she was all about kind words. All I have to say is it's incredibly ironic that I would release something that is all about kind words because that's exactly what I want. That's it. If you support Rare, I cannot thank you enough, but know that you are also representing what it means. And that is words matter, truly matter. In October of 2022, just weeks after Haley spoke out about the rumors that she stole Justin from Selena, Haley Bieber and Selena Gomez posed together at the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures second annual gala, seemingly squashing the rumors that there was any beef between the two. But the rumors would start up again eventually. So that's the timeline of the relationship love triangle between Justin, Selena, and Haley. And again, eight years Justin and Selena were together to a certain extent, and he marries someone else six months later. And yet everyone is focused on Selena Gomez versus Haley Bieber. If you ask me, people should be focused on Justin Bieber. He allegedly, according to Selena, cheated on her multiple times, strung along multiple women, and yet the public is entirely focused on this feud between Selena and Haley, as if they both aren't maybe victims of a toxic man. He made the choice to marry someone six months later after breaking up with Selena, yet people hated Haley for stealing him from Selena. Both Selena and Haley have admitted they've had trouble in their relationships with him, but somehow it's their fault and not the dude's. I just find it interesting, I guess.
It's as if Justin is some great prize to be fought over. Some prize to be won. Beats me, I guess. <laughs> and both of these women have been torn apart publicly for all of this. Meanwhile, Justin Bieber remains completely untouched and unfazed. Now, both of these women, Selena and Haley, are insanely rich. And I think it's important to talk about their net worths because at the end of the day, they're fine. They're doing fine. <laughs> they will be fine. <laughs> More than fine. Both Selena and Haley are incredibly rich and it's important to note, profit from being talked about. Their brands benefit from public discourse about them. As some publicists say, all publicity is good publicity, or any publicity is good publicity. I forget. I'm not a publicist, so I forget what they say. And I also think it's kind of fascinating how involved the public has become in the lives of two multimillionaires. I mean, at the end of the day, both of these two women are winning, and the public is really the people who are losing. Income inequality, a recession and economic decline, we're all losing and they're the ones who are winning right now. Both Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber have beauty and skincare lines. Selena's bro broody brand? Selena's beauty brand is named Rare Beauty, and Haley has a skincare brand called Road Skin. Selena Gomez's net worth in 2023 is estimated to be 95 million. Selena Gomez earned approximately $600,000 per episode for Only Murders in the Building season two. She is also the most followed celebrity on Instagram. Insider revealed that Selena earns around $800,000 per sponsored Instagram post. Selena's music career is also another major factor in her net worth. During her 2016 revival tour, she earned an estimated 35.6 million, which is insane. I mean, good for her, good for her. No, it is great, but... According to several reports, Hailey Bieber's net worth is 20 million, and her husband Justin Bieber's net worth is 300 million. The main contributing factor to Hailey Bieber's net worth is her company, Road Skin. Apart from this, she made some money from her modeling career, including campaigns with brands like French Connection, Guess, Ralph Lauren, Tommy, Hil Tommy Hilfiger, and Machino. She also made appearances in music videos for artists like Cody Simpson, Ariana Grande, DJ Khaled, Drake, and of course, Justin Bieber. Though I don't think those appearances have contributed that much to her net worth. For a period of time, it seemed like Haley's brand Road Skin was fairly well regarded and doing okay. I would say I'm pretty impressed with Haley's first launch. I love that the products are affordable. Because I feel like the brand targeted the right TikTok creators with their PR. A lot of very well respected voices that I fully respect as well. But I don't think this brand particularly needs hyping up. I think it's worth the attention it's getting. But it seems to have fallen off in recent months and isn't really talked about at all. So we're gonna skip today's review. Wait, 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 wait. She doesn't even deserve a pink trash can. And just like Sean Mendez said, bye. And many Selena Gomez fans believe that Haley started Road Skin just to copy Selena, who already had launched her brand Rare Beauty at the time. So Haley is getting called out for allegedly copying Selena Gomez again because both Selena and Haley's brands launched lip products. Haley launched hers three days after Selena, and people think their products are very similar. In general, tons of celebrities and influencers are launching beauty brands. And to give Haley the benefit of the doubt, I'm sure her manager, Scooter Braun, sort of told her, people are talking about how good your skin is, and we have to get your name attached to a skincare brand. You look like a bronze goddess. <laughs> like, I was like, what? Yeah, you should have a skincare line. Your skin looks like amazing. You said that uh, when you go to bed at night, you want to feel, you want to look like a glazed. I want to give off the vibe of a glazed donut. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like edible, the... dewy, yummy, delicious. Dewy. <laughs> Blaze. I mean, it's easy profit for celebrities and influencers, though I'm sure some are really involved in creating a quality product. For many others, it's just an easy cash grab. But I will say some of the other instances of Haley allegedly copying Selena are a little bit harder to defend. Fans believe Hailey Bieber is obsessed with copying Selena Gomez. According to fans, Hailey copies Selena's interviews. Everybody else seemed to be narrating my life for me. Yes. So why don't I put something out that is my side of the story? It's not hateful or anything. It's simply a beautiful moment to, to let go of. And yeah. I was really, really proud of it. I was able to tell my story about who I was from my own mouth instead of people from the outside being able to tell my story for me. Somebody asked me a while ago, what's the one thing you wish people knew about you? And I said I wanted it to be my heart. What do you wish more people knew about you? My heart. <laughs> you make me cry. Oh, this came out, I really felt like I always battled with the idea that people didn't really know me. They didn't know who I was, they didn't know Haley for Haley. And I just always had this constant battle where I was saying, I wish people just knew my heart. Haley has a nearly identical tattoo placement as Selena Gomez and has a J tattoo that is similar to Selena's old J ring. Selena Gomez had got this G on the back of her um, ear that represented her sister Gracie, her little sister Gracie. And so did Haley. I don't know what the G stands for for her, but Justin gave Selena this ring. <laughs> Haley was also caught following Jelena fan accounts in the past. Back in 2018, Haley got caught creeping on a Selena fan account and she followed it on accident. And then there was also the time that she followed a account called Exposing SMG. And Exposing SMG is like a known Selena hate account. Haley started a cooking show after Selena, and the episodes start in the same manner, and often Haley says things eerily similar to how Selena says them on her show. We know that during COVID, Selena started this HBO cooking show, right? Then Haley starts one, of them, of course. This is the intro to her cooking show. This is the intro to her cooking show. This is my real home. Everything that we're doing is at home. This is my amazing kitchen, which is the set. Yes, we actually are in my real kitchen, in my real house. Room set. This is where I live. This is my papa. I did. This is my nana room. This And on top of that, there's been lots of alleged outfit copying with similar clothing, style, and inspiration, with Haley wearing clothes that often seem heavily inspired from Selena's past outfits. People were also circulating receipts that showed that Haley was a hardcore Justin and Selena fan for years before their relationship. In fact, Haley would often tweet about Selena and Justin's relationship and how they were a teenage dream. Videos also appeared online of Haley sort of lurking in the background while Justin met with fans before she was a part of his inner circle. I mean, during that time, Haley was literally a teenager. She was younger and was the age that most of Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez's fans were. And since this was during the height of their massive teen popularity, it does sort of make sense that she would fit the demographic of a fan. Aside from people noticing the pretty odd copying 
coincidences, the Selena and Haley rumored feud kicked off again with more intensity than ever. And it all started with, yes, an eyebrow incident. It all started four score and four weeks ago when Haley Bieber, in a roundabout way, made fun of Selena Gomez's eyebrows. Selena had posted a TikTok where she talked about how she accidentally laminated her eyebrows too much. I accidentally laminated my brows too much. My name, Selena Gomez. And if you don't know what brow lamination is, brow lamination is a beauty process in which hairs are set in an upward position to make them look fuller and fluffier. Selena, I can only assume, was worried that the power of the brow lamination, combined with the essence of her being Selena Gomez, was too powerful too strong, therefore the brow lamination being overall too much. And I think she was right, for the sheer power of this brow lamination reignited one of the most earth-shattering celebrity internet feuds that social media has ever seen, after the feud had laid dormant for at least a few years. Because only three eyebrow- only three eyebrows. <laughs> Because only three hours after Selena posted about her eyebrows, Kylie Jenner, other social media socialite, and apparently friends with Hailey Bieber, proceeded to upload a selfie paired with text that read, this was an accident. Due to the fact that the caption was placed near her eyebrow, fans quickly began speculating that Kylie Jenner was shading Selena Gomez for her accidental over-lamination of her eyebrows. After Selena over-laminated her brows, Kylie posted this on her Instagram stories. Disgusting, despicable behavior from the Nepo babies. Like, it makes me want to vomit. Or my theory is that Selena Gomez's eyebrow lamination was so strong, so powerful, that it instantly laminated other celebrity eyebrows as well. But so far, no one else seems to share my theory. Kylie Jenner then shared a screenshot of her and Hailey Bieber's eyebrows, which was taken during a FaceTime call. The way they were both showcasing their brows made it pretty apparent to social media onlookers that they were, indeed, mocking Selena Gomez's eyebrows. Given, of course, the closeness and timing between said Selena eyebrow post and their eyebrow posts. Kylie Jenner has responded to the allegations that she and Hailey Bieber were shading Selena Gomez when Kylie posted this screenshot of the two of them on FaceTime. Kylie writes, this is reaching, no shade towards Selena ever and I didn't see her eyebrow posts. You guys are making something out of nothing. This is silly. The outrage came when Selena posted this video talking about her laminated brows and her fans assumed that the FaceTime screenshot was making fun of Selena. And people began calling out Kylie and Haley for this allegedly catty behavior, assuming Kylie is just jealous because Selena has a more successful and well-regarded makeup brand than her, and Haley is just jealous because Selena will always and forever be Justin's first love, which is brutal. Haley Bieber, jealous. Why are you so jealous? Like you took her man. You need to take her self-confidence too. Will that make you feel better? Will that make you sleep better at night? But Kylie Jenner immediately denied any relation, involvement, or knowledge of Selena Gomez's eyebrows. In a TikTok comment, she insisted she had no bad blood with Selena. And Selena Gomez backed this up by replying, agreed at Kylie Jenner, it's all unnecessary. I'm a fan of Kylie but fans were not buying any of it. So fans began digging into other posts that Haley made with her friends, particularly the Jenners, and found this seemingly obvious shady post of Haley Bieber with friends lip syncing the song lyrics, I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying God's timing is always right. Around the time Selena's weight gain, which was a side effect of her lupus medication, became a flashpoint 
point on the internet. I never comment on this type of thing, but we were just having a girls night and did a random TikTok for fun. It's not directed at anyone. Hailey Bieber wrote after being called out and Selena herself wrote, I don't let these things get me down. Be nice to everyone, X, in response to one fan's commentary. And on the same day as Eyebrow Mageddon, hours after Selena and Kylie's public piece, a six-year-old video of Haley allegedly being mean to Taylor Swift, other pop star added into the mix now, resurfaced. In the clip, Haley made a gagging notion after Taylor Swift's name was mentioned, prompting Selena Gomez to defend her bestie Taylor Swift in a comment saying, So sorry, my best friend is and continues to be one of the best in the game. Selena also continued to drop more hints in the comments section of TikTok that she was unhappy with the mean girls of Hollywood. In one instance, commenting I love you on a fan video that implied that Haley and Kylie were mean girls and bitches. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't had much of an opinion of Selena Gomez in general, like pretty neutral. However, now with these mean girls coming out her f***ing throat, disgusting, despicable behavior from the Nepo babies, like it makes me want to vomit. To the fans and audience members fully involved in the Selena and Haley fandoms and the mythology of these women, this was proof that the world and perspective that they observe is reality. That there is actually beef between Selena and Haley. I almost said Helena and Saley. That Haley is acting like a stuck up mean girl to Selena and that now Haley must be put in her place. So tons of videos were made on the situation, highlighting exactly how much of a mean girl group Haley and her supermodel friends are. Let's just face the facts, people. Haley Bieber is a mean girl. No, because she is actually just as petty as everyone thinks she is. I think we all forget that Hailey Bieber is a classic Nepo baby. The only thing she has going for her is her YouTube channel. Hailey Bieber is the ultimate mean girl. This is what Selena's fans have to say. The whole thing that stumps me with this Kylie, Hailey Bieber being mean to Selena Gomez is how they thought the world wasn't going to hate them. People flooded Haley's comment section on every one of her social medias, especially the comment section on her Instagram post dedicated to her husband Justin Bieber's birthday, saying things like free Justin Bieber and Justin doesn't love you. Haley also lost over a million followers on Instagram. And I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying God's timing is always right. People made posts imploring others not to support her skincare brand. This came in the mail. Okay, so the packaging is so boring. In this house, we are team Selena and we are team not bullying anyone. So we're gonna skip today's review. Wait, 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 she doesn't even deserve a pink trash can. And just like Shawn Mendes said, Bye. And it all started with eyebrows. More celebrities and corporations even joined in on this feud. Even after Selena Gomez left TikTok for a period of time because the drama was getting to be too much. I'm gonna be taking a second from social media because it's, this is a little silly. And I'm 30, I'm too old for this, so. Jordan Woods, ex-BFF of Kylie Jenner, posted a video recommending a lip liner from Rare Beauty, Selena Gomez's makeup brand. Pia Mia, another one of Kylie Jenner's ex-best friends, also made a video using Rare Beauty with Selena's verse on the song, Calm Down, playing in the background. This feels like such a late stage capitalism thing to do. It's just really funny to me that every celebrity involved in this feud has a beauty line. So the strongest way to show support for your favorite celebrity is through buying from their beauty brand as opposed to the other celebrities' beauty brands. Though, to be fair, honestly, Rare Beauty is the only beauty brand out of all these mentioned where I've heard genuinely great things about the brand from people who didn't even know it was Selena Gomez's makeup brand. The fast food chain Whataburger also 
posted about support for Selena. The renewed interest in Selena and Haley's rumored rivalry also led to every aspect of Justin and Haley's relationship being picked apart and scrutinized online. People pulling up videos of Justin and Haley together that seemingly showed that Justin had no interest in Haley. This man is never beating the I don't like my wife allegations. He posted photos from his birthday and every picture he's smiling, he's hugging, he's giggling, he's laughing, having a great time. And the only picture he posted with Haley is this one. Her face is not even in the photo and he looks miserable. That'll show her, haha, ha, your partner hates your guts. Take that, mean girl. And this entire situation just has me asking, what's the end game in all of this? To take the mean girls down a peg so we can all get back at our high school bullies in some roundabout way and somehow believe that there's justice in the world to pull apart Justin and Haley so that he can get back with his long lost true love, Selena Gomez. If it's the former, I have some bad news. I don't think Justin Bieber is a prize to be won. Honestly, everything I have heard about this man in relationships has not only been entirely against my will, but has also nauseated me and led me to believe, well, maybe, he, pop star who became massively famous at the age of 13, has had everything handed to him since then and has been the center of everyone's attention since then, maybe he isn't the greatest at being in a relationship. There are multiple videos of Justin altogether ignoring or even forgetting about Haley while they're out in public together. You going outside? Go, Haley! Don't fall! Don't fall! Oh my God! What up, Jay? Justin. Good morning, Justin. They set this whole thing up. I'm like, he was down low. What up, Jay? Or yelling at her, getting frustrated with her, snapping back at her. Babe. I just, I can't, don't touch him right now. Like, not right now, but I'm just saying. Uh, I thought you were being serious. No, 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 Just in general. If you weren't so hot, I would have got rid of you a long time. What? Baby, I wasn't trying! I need you accept it! And this is while they are in public or while they both know they are being filmed, which makes you wonder what the heck is happening behind scenes when he's not being filmed. Both have spoken openly about their difficult first year in marriage. <gasps> Hi. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. Do you like my braids? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'll just blur his face. And the speculation about their relationship status continues. <laughs> All done? Montages of their tense moments have fed into this viral sort of idea that Haley was Justin's second choice to Selena, with fans declaring their marriage toxic. We have footage of Justin Bieber abusing and mistreating his wife and harassing his ex-girlfriend and making some of the most dumb decisions of all time as a husband and you chose to pit the two women against each other? Really? Strange. Which I would certainly agree to with what I've seen. Even Haley's best friend, Kendall Jenner, admitted that she never saw her marriage with Justin coming. Question, did you see this coming? See what coming? You too? Um, honestly, <laughs> no, I was super like, I, I didn't know, you know what I mean? Like, I think I yeah. hoped. With the latest drama, Justin also never publicly defended Haley, And some fans even believe he tried to show off a tattoo he got of Selena on one of his birthday posts. Not to mention he took a picture with his sleeve rolled up, and this is his Selena Gomez tattoo right here. 
He's not helping. He's not helping Haley's case at all. All adding to more rumor and speculation. Though according to sources, it was intentional that Justin didn't speak publicly on all this rumors and drama. They're just taking things day by day and don't want this to be something that impacts them negatively. Justin knows that speaking publicly about it will only amplify the situation and bring more attention to it. So they've been supporting each other privately. In a video recently, Recently, Justin did speak on the recent drama, saying that the struggle has allowed him and Haley to grow closer. First of all, I don't know what it's like to be a woman. Um, she is a, such a strong, incredible woman. She faces so much ridicule and judgment and all these sort of things um, just for being in the position she's in. And there's often times where I you know, I've been dealing with what I've been dealing with for, um, for years, for, you know, over 10 years. And a lot of it I've come accustomed to and, and just kind of learned how to deal with it. And it's a lot, you know, it's just a lot in our plate right now. So one thing I'm kind of struggling with uh, is, you know, having that empathy and understanding that, you know, um, I don't know what that scene looks like. I don't know what that feels like. And, um, just try to, because in doing that, in feeling that empathy towards her and feeling her pain, and we actually become closer. That's actually a, a, a really good bridge builder and a good way for us to connect. And I'm not trying to say Justin Bieber is like evil or something. I just think it's silly for the internet to interpret this feud between these two women over this guy. He has clearly had a lot of issues over the years which I won't get too much into in this video because that's a whole other thing. And it seems he's left both of these women feeling like shit. It is possible that Haley could blame Selena for the treatment she endures with Justin, seeing Selena as the reason why Justin is treating her poorly. I could see that being a possibility, but of course we all know that's not the case or the reality of what's happening here. A crummy dude is just a crummy dude. And if that is how Haley feels, I hope one day she realizes that Selena is not her enemy and maybe actually her only ally. The only person who actually understands what she's going through in her relationship. Selena has claimed herself that she endured emotional abuse during her relationship with Justin. And I wouldn't be surprised to guess that maybe that exact same thing is happening with Haley and Justin and that Justin is doing the exact same thing to Haley as well. All of this just brings up the topic of our expectation of what a perfect victim should be and how the perfect victim should act. Never petty, never malicious, always perfectly sad and pathetic, but that's not the case for Haley, even though Haley may actually be a victim in her relationship, a rich, famous, pretty victim. And her flaws may just be her lashing out and trying to rationalize a relationship that leaves her suffering. But I don't want to assume too much between the relationship of Haley and Justin. Just provide maybe an alternative explanation. Though even saying what I just said feels weird and parasocial. <laughs> At the end of the day, we rarely ever truly know what's going on behind the scenes. And rarely do I think people ever set out intending to be a mean person. We all try to justify our actions one way or another. And most of the time, our reasoning is very flawed, but that's what makes us human. Now, after losing a million followers, Hailey Bieber needs a major rebrand after being labeled a mean girl. Since her marriage to Justin Bieber, Hailey and whatever team is behind her have really tried to brand her as a trend-setting style icon for Gen Z. Her off-duty model style has been credited for popularizing trends like glazed donut nails, monochromatic dressing, and all things sporty and oversized. Every client I get 
comes to me and says, I want to dress like Hailey Bieber, said Ellis Ranson, a celebrity fashion stylist in the UK. Her style is simple and classy at the same time. It makes it easy for people to recreate, said the moderator of at Hailey B Style, a fan account that has spent seven years sharing Hailey Bieber's outfits and has gained 300,000 followers from doing so. But being an approachable style icon means you have to be relatable and likable, something Haley was somewhat able to manage for a while, even after Selena's fans tore her apart for her marriage to Justin Bieber. But that's all at risk when the internet thinks you're a bully. According to Lauren Beeching, founder of Honest London, a social media and reputation management agency, the Mean Girl label can be incredibly hard to shake. Ex-server and TikTok creator Julia Carolan went viral for her assessment of Mrs. Bieber. In 2020, telling viewers that she had served Haley numerous times and that every time she was not nice. Reading celebrities at my oh, I was a hostess in Manhattan part. Once we have Mrs. Bieber, this is gonna be controversial. I've met her a handful of times and every time she was not nice. I really wanna like it, but I have to give her like a 3.5 out of 10. Sorry. Haley apologized in the comment section, writing, Sorry if I've ever given you bad vibes or a bad attitude. That's not ever my intention. In a sit-down interview for Mega Church Hillsong's YouTube channel in 2020, Haley described her Mean Girl label as confusing. Why are we as women being nasty to other women? It's almost like I feel like girls on social media perpetuate women being rude to women. Mm -hmm. They want girls to bully each other. They want there to be beef and they want there to be a problem when the reality is there's not. And now the Mean Girl label could greatly impact Hailey Bieber's brand and her reputation as she becomes one of the most hated celebrities. And it'll undoubtedly affect her skincare company, Road, because her skincare company is tied so much to her personal brand and her popularity. Hailey Bieber once described Road as, to me, Road is a whole world. It's a whole world of me, essentially. In order for people to understand my vision for the brand, they would have to understand me. Meaning, basically, if people don't like Hailey Bieber, they automatically won't like her skincare brand, Road. Oopsies. <laughs> And now Selena Gomez fans are urging people to stop buying Rode products. But my question is, even if Haley was through and through an absolute mean girl and every speculation about her was 100% true, does that justify some of the mean things that people are saying to Haley? Comparing her to Putin, telling her her husband doesn't love her, making fun of her appearances. It's really funny to me that everybody's mad about Hailey Bieber being a mean girl, but y'all are being mean girls all up in these comments. Rude. This all is sort of a weird phenomenon that happens when someone's exposed for mean or shady behavior. They become an acceptable target for people to direct all their mean-spirited, hateful energy towards. I kind of feel like sometimes we all just have this meanness inside of all of us this aggression of sorts that we have to get out. So we need the witch trials, the sacrifices for which we can direct that energy towards as an outlet. Right now, there's so much uncertainty in the world. It's almost like we needed the Selena and Haley drama as an outlet where life is simple and cut and dry. There's the bully and the underdog and we can all team up and take down the bully, but life isn't really that simple. I would it was, but it's not. In a weird way, the hunt to prove this feud between Selena and Haley has just become a popularity contest, one where the winner gets a major cash prize. Selena Gomez and her rare beauty makeup company 
have gained hundreds of thousands of new followers on Instagram and TikTok, either from people who want to show their support or have been made aware that Selena has a beauty brand from this entire drama. Selena also recently passed Kylie Jenner as the most followed person on Instagram. And supporting Selena or Hailey became almost about how you identify who you are maybe even more than who they really are are you a selenator or a jaily what do you stand for in this world and really that's the entire basis of the devoted fanaticism of stan culture it seems recently there's been a sort of closure on the drama and hatred towards Haley bieber with selena posting a statement onto her instagram story that read Haley bieber reached out to me and let me know that she has been receiving death threats and such hateful negativity this isn't what i stand for no one should have to experience hate or bullying i've always advocated for kindness and and really want this all to stop. Haley also responded in an Instagram story statement saying, I want to thank Selena for speaking out as her and I have been discussing the last few weeks how to move past this ongoing narrative between her and I. The last few weeks have been very hard for everyone involved and millions of people are seeing so much hate around this, which is extremely harmful. While social media is an incredible way to connect and build community, moments like this only create extreme division instead of bringing people together. Things can always be taken out of context or construed differently than they were intended. We all need to be more thoughtful about what we post and what we say, including myself. In the end, I believe love will always be bigger than hate and negativity, and there is always an opportunity to meet each other with more empathy and compassion. So it seems for now, much of the drama surrounding this rumored feud between Hailey Bieber and Selena Gomez has come to an end. But will Hailey Bieber's reputation ever recover? As for Hailey Bieber, I honestly don't think she'll ever fully recover from this major publicity debacle and all-out social media warfare. And honestly, none of this was ever really her problem to begin with. She was caught in the crosshairs of a public lover's quarrel, labeled the standard trope of the conniving mistress, the jealous woman, the obsessed stalker. Maybe she's all of those things maybe she's none of them. In the end, it doesn't even really matter. I don't want to overly victimize Haley because again, she's a rich, pretty millionaire with a rich, famous family. She's fine. But are we fine? After this video, are you fine? Like I said earlier, this was all a nice distraction from the fact that the world is falling apart, that we are all inevitably doomed, that the economy is collapsing, we can all exert our anger onto Haley for being a petty a-hole, but at the end of the day, what does that solve? What does it fix? We're all still just as lost as we were before. I want to end this video with a sort of final message on the situation from Selena that she made on her TikTok. Please, please be kinder and consider others' mental health. My heart has been heavy and I only want good for everyone. All my love.